everything is new again Walking with the permigrant head so high I'm back with you and all is right Shaking on the apple tree, ticking off the honeybees Watch them fly It's just like we never said goodbye Hey guys, what's up? It's Neon Tiger. Welcome back to NeoCraft. I'm doing a sing songy thing again. So, we are making a small trip back to a place we visited before to kind of rectify an error that I made previously. And that was, I thought you couldn't get inside MDSMG's fortress. And he's since commented that in fact you can. You just had to take a different door that I didn't see. So, here we go. Took a little bit of time. Aha! See, I missed the obvious door. So, this is MDS and SMG's place. So, let's come on inside. Take a nice look. It's got some storage, furnaces. Careful! Lava. Ooh. So it's got an infinite spring down here. I'm guessing this might be some kind of garbage chute. Not bad. It's very fancy in here. Very fancy for a fortress. Private. Uh, I don't think, I think this might have a, a door on the, the inside. Don't know. Maybe he's working on that. So this is the enchantment room. Fairly, oh. <laughs> I trapped myself. But uh, fairly basic enchantment room. It's got this beacon down here in the floor with the, the shaft of light going all the way up to the top. That's cool. Another kind of a mid-level floor here with more stairs. Stairs leading up to a lookout. Very nice. And he's got his, his big tower here in the middle. A lot of a lot of stone brick in, in this build. So this is kind of a, a high up lookout, I guess. Crops down there. Oh. Didn't that mean to place a block? Oh, dang it. We really need more than a, a two second warning on those server restarts. Um, so, yeah, can we... Uh, can we fix that message to go a little faster than two seconds before we're, it restarts and everybody gets kicked? A little sudden there. All right, so we're back. So thankfully it didn't take too long. I lost my block, but oh well. I'll deal with it. Yeah, we've got to fix those messages a little bit, guys. So this must go downstairs, back to where we were. He's got another overlook here. There's the there's the train station. Obviously, we came through the Nether, so didn't have as far to go. But yeah, so this is just very quickly, I guess, a tour of M's place. And apologies for. Missing this the first time through, so I'm going to head back and we're going to actually go check out a few more things and then we'll be right back. Alright, so we're back here at spawn and now we are heading out this way to visit a few other things that are to the east of town. It's also night out, so I'm going to have to run from various mobs and whatnot. This is the horse racetrack that Puppet is... Still working on, I think. Uh, I don't know what his status is on how much he's completed of it, but the rail line kind of goes over it. It's got some nice little loop-de-loops and ups and downs and whatnot. So, run away from all the scary things. And this is, this is Diggy's temporary house with his temporary sheep. And the herd kind of goes right through the middle of it. 
so first stop on our tour is Mengi's Ravine Base. Also, shut, shut, thank you, shut. So he's kind of got this whole ravine that he's turning into a base. You can see he's got lots, lots of pillars and cool stuff down there. He's got all of this, this man, turned into... Spider skeletons, creepers, all bad things. There is another portal down there. Oh my goodness, that's huge. So um, I guess this is also the alternate set of stairs lead out to here. And we should probably go downstairs if we can. We may have to find. Oh, here's a set of stairs down here. He's got. This is the real track that we'll be checking out later. And here's a room. He's got, oh, this is a portal room. Okay. He's kind of got, oh, he's got little different rooms. Now that's a big portal. That's a big fancy portal. He's got different rooms here. So this is egg production. Obviously, chicken farm. With a few chickens in it. I think they collect into hopper, which feeds down into here. Chicken slaughter room, so if you need to just get some regular chickens, you can do it there. Hi, chickens. Cow pen. Very nice, very nice. Pig pen. Yes. And sheep pen and dive room, so. He's got uh, different clays and wools and dyes. And. Here's all the sheep. Little rainbow. Rainbow of colors. Almost like a palette to help him remind him what's what. I think that's his bed. And more stairs going down. We'll go down there in a second. Nice long hallway here. So, storage room off to the side. Very fancy. Very nice. There's a clock on the wall. Enchantments, brewing stations, water sources. This comes out here. Sounds like he's got villagers somewhere over here, too. Oh, probably down here. Okay. So, this is just comes out here. Horse stables. Inter interesting choice. They have the horse stable on the ground. Kind of wondering how he gets the horses up without a bunch of hassle. He's got arched bridges. Oh, that's for the, that's for the real line. And stained glass here, wild chickens, automatic reed farms, automatic cactus farms. Uh, it's probably automatic uh, cocoa bean farms, I would assume. Excuse me, maybe you have to just the. Uh, no, they're not because there's there's no gap up here for these to get pushed up, unless I'm mistaken. Because he doesn't have the shaker um, version of that. It just basically moves the blocks up and down. Those are pretty cool. I'll probably build one of those. But uh, come on down here, and it's just the stairs to go back up. Yep. And then this is, I guess this is all his villagers. Or down here, it's an iron golem. And hello. Oh, oh. Ah. Hello, hello, buddy. Oh, we don't want to be outside. His villagers are all mucking about. He's got this lower level. Looks like he might be expanding over here to do something. I don't know what he's going to do over here. Oh, fishing. Fishing spot. Fishing. Oh, hey, Andy's on. Hey, Andy. And that's just the bottom of the ravine. So... Pumpkin harvester, melon harvester. Very cool stuff. Very nice. And this is this this just goes downstairs to the ravine, doesn't it? Yep. Oh, he's got more stuff down here. More stuff. This must be his mines, so. Yep, just a basic strip mine down here. 
Lots of more storage. Yeah, that's cool. Now I think above ground there's also a castle. The castle doesn't have a name attached to it. I couldn't find any chests for anyone claiming the castle. I think that's his as well. I'll go ahead and very quickly kind of pop up there and show you guys what I saw. It takes forever to walk through. Oh, more stairs lead up. That's right, go this way. Now the castle looks cool from the outside. The inside, I don't think I want to show the inside off too much because there's not a whole lot on the inside. So... Probably not worth spending an extra minute wandering around inside. But there's a castle kind of thingy over here. And I think this is uh, Maggie's as well. It's got a little path that kind of comes down here. If it's not, then we'll figure out whose it is. And I will note it. Because it didn't have any chests in there, and it's really close to the ravine base. So my guess, my guess would be it's his, but I don't know. I don't know these things. Whatever. <laughs> it looks really nice though. Looks really nice. So, I'm gonna make a quick jog, not too far actually. Quick jog over here to this big old thing. We're gonna go across the racetrack. But this big old tunnely thing over here is our next stop. This is Grubel's Slime Pit. And oh boy is it something to something to, to see. I'll tell you that much. So first I gotta figure out how to get up here to Oh, it's a bit of block lag, okay. But that's alright. A little bit of block lag is alright. We're not gonna be doing much block breaking on our on this tour. So coming on down here. You can kinda get start to get the idea of the scale of this place. Just from the from the entrance alone. It's taking forever to get down here. It took me forever to get back up. You see it's starting to get void foggy. Almost down near bedrock. And take a look at this place. It's something, wow. He's got these huge pillars that he's dug out of the ground. Oh. Okay, that's why I was doing that, because I'm in the middle of chests. <laughs> Basically, these huge pillars he's working on carving out of the, the surface. It's just basically chickens and... I don't know what this is. Some kind of grinder, maybe? Ob observation deck, perhaps? So you can kind of get a, a nice 3D look around from the middle. Yeah, or 360, not 3D. It is 3D, dummy. But then he's just got his his wood farms and chanting and beacons and regular farms and all that good stuff all ready to go here. So yeah, it'll be nice to see what this what this all looks like when it's finished and that's that's the thing I don't think he's anywhere close to being finished with it yet for obvious reasons so we'll have to wait a little bit and see and hope that we get that done pretty quickly so that is that I'm gonna head a little further to the east and start Exploring some of the middle part of the map that we haven't really got to, to touch on. This is the part of the map that's in between Katsagard and Spawn. So these guys are kind of, a lot of them are my neighbors, so to speak. And we'll be visiting some today and some in a, in a video as part of this tour in the near future. So keep an eye out for that. But... Yeah, I will be right back when we get to our next destination, which isn't too far away. 
Well, welcome back, and this is no tree. This is definitely no tree. I'll tell you that much. This is somebody's place. I know whose place it is, actually. It's, it's Pickles. So, month old Pickles shack. He's got kind of a basic little shack going on here. All this stuff up here. And I hear cows. I think this might be... Just, yeah, just mines down here. So, I think he keeps all his animals next door. And they're very loud. Oh, he's got a cow cooker. Okay. Cool. I wanted to be really careful with that because I wanted to make sure that. Uh, you know what? I was going to use some cow. This is a, uh, a little fishing gizmo. So you can fish in this one little block here. Uh, BBFS is one of those too. It's very cool. And this must be just a wheat farm. Yeah, he's got a wheat farm up here and other farms over here. And I heard there's another portal too, which is right over here. There we go. Cool. All right, so this is, that was kind of a quick tour of Pickle's place. It's got some nice stuff worth checking out, especially that fishing the gizmo and the cow cooker. I didn't want to use the cow cooker because I didn't want to accidentally kill all of the cows in there. If you need to keep like two or three of them alive so they can breed. But uh, next stop on the tour is just up ahead over these mountains. So I'm going to go ahead and head on over there and we'll be right back with the next little place to visit all right so we're back here on the purple line and we're going to be visiting the purple line in a little more detail soon but this is Eridani station which is by uh, Futsi and that's actually who we're going to go visit now so first things first you come out here and you get a nice little map and we're right here this is Futsi's place and then this uh I think all of this right in here is Thorn. It's called Thorn Valley, and that's where Thorn lives. And then this is Max Western Town. We'll also be visiting Max Western Town at a later date. So Futsi's home rear entrance is this way. Front entrance, Merck's home and village that way. So this is Futsi's place. He lives inside a giant mountain. As someone who once lived inside of a mountain, I have to say I like the choice. <laughs> so what is this? Merc is this way. So we're gonna go this way. Merc's up there. I think that's also worth. I think Merc lives up there, and I think Thorn lives down in the valley. So this is just out to. That's his various farms. He's got a waterfall there. Very nice. May even be natural, but Futsi's place. A lot of so this is why we don't have it. I can't have any nice things like quartz because everybody else has the quartz. Uh, <laughs> so he's got all the stuff organized here. He's got little paintings and a clock on the wall, and I think that's garbage. More storage stairs lead up. We'll check that out in a minute. It's a bed jukebox. This is kind of his... It's like he's got little biomes in all the places here. That would be cool if he had like different little biomes that you could come check out. Yeah, I think that might be what he's doing. Cool. So it's like jungle biome and spruce, taiga, and mushroom, and like plains kind of area, I guess. With a little waterfall coming down from the ceiling. He's even got nether up there. Interesting. I like that. That's very, very different. So. Oh, it's got different, uh, different levels. So enchanting, brewing, nether, unfinished. It's a water drop. So. Here's enchanting. This is his enchanting room. It's got a kind of a scary little ceiling in case you're 
afraid of heights. It's a glass floor. Brewing. As you can tell. And another must be like nether wart and other other uh, nether products. So yeah, there's another, oh, another portal and nether wart with lots of scary lava. Ooh, scary. Put this house downstairs. And then this one, as you mentioned, would be unfinished. So yeah, he's still still working on it. I do not want to drop down there. And then this goes all the way up to the top, I think. Does it not? Yep. Uh, yep. It's got like a little lookout. And then take the ladder up top. I'll we'll actually get to see. There's nothing, there's nothing up here, but you can see where we're headed next. So that is Merc's place down there, and Thorn's place would be just on the edge of the border there. So why don't I go ahead? And head on over there. And we'll, we will be right back soonish at Merc's place. And I'm going to go ahead and use this water drop that he's built over here. Whee! Alright, so we're on the way to Merc's house. Merc, all your stuff is catching on fire. Maybe, I don't know, is that intentional? It's got kind of this, this damaged portal look to it. It's interesting. Interesting. Yeah, this is this is Merc's place. So it's got a lot of quartz again. This is why I don't have any quartz for my builds. Because everyone has already come and gotten all the quartz out. So it looks like uh yeah, it looks like he used a lot of quartz and then Head and head mark, thorn and triple sec. Perhaps I'll do a little bit of living here every once in a while. He's got the. Is that supposed to be the gaff logo or the? Is that the moon and the, the sun? I don't know. They'll probably tell me. I'll probably tell me if I'm wrong because everyone else has been telling me if I'm wrong. <laughs> You know, hey, that's you know, I get like I get getting a lot of comments. Hey, that's actually my place. Or hey, no, that's not what that's for. It's for something else. So you can see he's kind of got a one level house here, but he's got a nice little path that comes on out. There's a melon farm, and this comes on out to his village, and obviously the village. Where he breeds his villagers. You can see they're kind of just hanging out. Looks like he's got a fishing pond here too. Yeah, he's got a little fishing hut over here. Very nice, very nice. Give the villagers something to do on the weekend. And then, are these. Well, that's interesting. He's got like maybe this guy grows potatoes, that guy grows carrots. It's like a, a little shop. <laughs> I wonder if this is also in some way kind of just storage or if it's labeling so you can figure out, you know, whose houses are whose. I don't know. It's interesting. Oh, okay. So that's why that's because that's the entrance to the cow pen. Okay, I see. These these are all the entrances to their respective uh, pens. So this is the entrance to the sheep pen. That's the entrance to the cow pen. It's the blacksmithy. He's built like a little village here. I'm almost curious to wonder if he built the whole thing or if there was just a random village. Up. No, he had to have built that because this village is this village is way too clean to have generated naturally up here. Those things when they generate heights will do all kinds of ridiculously stupid things. So that is a zombie villager. I cannot let you pass, sir. I cannot let you pass into Merc's Merc's village. That would be bad. So you have to you have to die for all the good things in that village. I'm so sorry. 
Um, but down here, this is this is Thorin Valley. This is Thorin's place. He lives right near Merc. They are buddies, so that makes sense. It makes sense that they would live next to each other. So zombie's pissed off. He's got a sword. Ah! So right now, you can see that is a rail station, and I'm going to point this out at least for the moment because that is the cyan line and that line terminates at this very moment here in Thorn Valley but in the very near future and I can see Fuchs has already kind of started on perhaps extending it if you go directly that way which I think is east yes if you go directly east from Thorn Valley along this rail line you will eventually get to Cossack Guard, and that's where the new the new terminus, at least the new temporary terminus, is going to be. And one of our one of our big projects. I may or may not ask another another uh, the crafty and builder to come join me on the project if they're willing. But at the end of that line, there's going to be a a giant station. That I'm going to be building. That's this is actually going to kind of twin with the, uh, the purple line for a little bit. They're going to kind of follow each other. This is just a, a Vic doll. This is, must be his original house. He's not here anymore. We're going to go. We're going to go visit his place later. But he's not here at all. I don't think anymore. I think that was just a temp house. So Thorn has. Obviously, he's got all of his crops being grown here on these gigantic platforms that overlook the ground. It's kind of this weird floaty feel to them, like some kind of futuristic city. And this is chicken grinder, I guess I could call that. Uh, what's this? Cobblestone generator. No, we can't get a cobblestone generator. Can it? Thorn, you're gonna have to let me know what you're working on here, buddy. I'm not quite sure. And then I think this goes up here to be his nether portal. And. Oh, he's got quite a bit more. So he's got all kinds of crazy things. This is his storage. Another wart. Another strange root. I don't know. I don't know what goes on in there. Oh, it's a path down that way. Path down that way. And a path that goes down that way. So there's like multiple stairs. And this just goes up to this pumpkin farm. And there's this portal. And ooh. Oh wow, it's a fancy pants storage room, I think. It's got all kinds of hoppers and whatnots hooked up. He's playing big stuff. Big stuff. So just just a probable reminder, this is all <clears throat> all kind of a work in progress. So I would imagine a lot of this stuff will change in the the coming months and weeks and days even. So at some point I'll come back here and this will be an entirely different look to it. We might do that. We might come back and do like a like a look at some of the some of the places as people tell me, hey I finished up, you know, such and such. Can you come by and take a look? I'll probably do that. Oh, what's this? It's uh must be a, I think it's a slime grinder. It looks like yeah, it looks like slimes. Yeah, slime balls. Okay, so this is a slime grinder. Uh, Thorn spilt. I don't know how well those work anymore because uh, they kind of. I think they kind of changed how slimes work a little bit. But uh, yeah. 
Very nice, very interesting place. Lots of science going on here. Lots of science. I like that. I like that there's lots of pistons and machinery and science. It's, that's a, it's a very thorn thing to do. What's this? Oh, he's got a... Uh, is this one of those machines that automatically grows the wood? Oh, wow. And so one of these. I think the Minecraft server has one of these. But I've never seen one in person. I would love to see how this works. Like like the uh, like redstone mechanics and stuff uh, on Minecraft craft always really kind of catch my attention and my interest. Uh, okay, so maybe it's just a machine you step on it and then bone meal comes out and you put you know saplings and it makes the trees grow and then it kicks on the pistons and it pushes them all around. So we're going to actually take this rail line. So you can see I've already put the signage up here to let people know that uh, Katsu Garden is where we're going with the line in the future. But for now, we're going to make a quick jump back to the previous stop. And we're going to check that out and we'll be right back. Okay, so... oh. <laughs> Oh, I teleported right out of the, uh, right on out of there. I guess that's why these stairs are over here. So, I'm going to grab my cart. And we're going to be at our last stop, I think, for today. Which is the Red Sand Inn. This charming bridge is called Charlie Haw. It's a little reference the good old Charlie who's not on right now. But uh, welcome to the Red Sand Inn. And I'm completely unsure. I can't remember who built the Red Sand Inn. I'm sure I'll get a, a talking to on the forums by whoever built it. If I can remember. Maybe I'll find a chest in here. We harvest the crops. We the back. Usual. Red Sand Inn. Price one iron bar a night. No pets allowed. Trespassers will be shot. Survivors will be shot again. <laughs> Breakfast lounge. Seems a little uh dry in here. But he's got uh, some rooms. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. All kind of the same. Owner. Oh, okay. So. uh... MDSMG has also built this. Uh, you also have a typo on your sign. It says Owner Vram. So you should probably fix that. Uh, happens all the time. So MDSMG has built the uh, Red Sand Inn here in the, the Mesa National Park. So you can get a... It's a little kind of hidden thing under the overhang here. It's nice. It's a nice little place to visit. And I think, I think with that, I think we're all set for today on this part of the journey. So next time, you kind of saw that purple line, and that's where we're heading. So we're going to head along the purple line. Obviously, we've already been along part of it. The first stop is Craig's Place at Tunlu Station. So we're going to be heading kind of back this way and checking out... I think Sean Speed's place was the first place that we saw along the line that we hadn't visited. So we're going to head there. And then we're going to take the line all the way out to its end, which is quite a ways away. So I might not even get all of it done in one episode. So we'll see. We'll see. It did take me a little bit of time. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. And as I always say, good luck. Good mining, have fun, I'll see you guys next time, here, on the Neocraft server.